Hey, it's Alman Let's Oris, and this is the episode 8 of my Road to 5 Bill Experience series sponsored by Smoking Dice. So, in this video, I'll show you how to train probably the most complicated skill of RuneScape Slayer. In this video, I'll show you the basics to get around 50k experience per hour in Slayer and a lot of summoning, melee, range, magic, prayer, and herb lore experience at the same time. And the cost with the method I will show is only 0.7 GP per experience. Okay, so let's start off with my block and cancel list for Slayer. So those are the monsters that I won't do because they are not efficient. Okay, so a very important thing to understand with the block and the cancel list is that they are pretty much the same. By that, what I mean is that you won't do those tasks. So don't put the worst monsters in the block list. It won't be efficient. You need to put the most frequent monster that you won't do in the block list. Okay, so for example, the Abyssal Demons are way better experience than the Skeletal Weavers, but I put them into my block list because they are way more frequent. But if I put them in my canceling task, I would simply have to waste more Slayer points, and it doesn't affect my experience rate, I'm not even doing the task. So that's why I only put the most frequent monster that you won't do in the block list, and the least frequent monster that you won't do in the cancel list. And finally, this is my do list. So you can see all the different monsters. I won't actually show how to train with, by killing each of the monsters because it will take way too long. But anyway, you can see the location and the meta that I will be using if I were going to kill a certain monster. So it can be very useful if you don't really know what's the most efficient way to kill them. Okay, so now I'll show you a very, very useful Slayer scratching. We'll put the link in the description. So basically, they are all the different monsters. You can select log, do, or cancel for each of them, and you can change it. For example, if I do the blue dragon instead of canceling them, as you can see with my average experience per hour, it was lower. So it's better to put it cancel. It's very useful to know the most efficient, to find out what's the most efficient slayer list. So it also tells you the amount of experience we'll get in magic, prayer, melee, everything. Even the amount of cash we'll need to spend to get that amount of experience. You can also enter your name to get your current Slayer experience. Set a goal, for example, 200 million experience. And there are even more advanced settings, like if you are using a Fiji on Slayer, for example, if I enter yes, and my Slayer experience per hour is 60k. So not only 50k, but 60k if I press Yes, but if I press no, then it's lower, of course. And also change with the bone crusher, the prayer urns, the charms, a lot of things. There is also the models. Basically, they are all the different monster with information related to it. So there's the task frequency, so how frequent you get the task. And with the task frequency and the amount, the average amount you, of monster you need to kill per task, you can find out what will be the total amount of kills, well, well, there is the amount of task force depending on your current experience and your goal experience, but with that you can find out the number of monsters you will need to kill for each monster. For example, Aberrant Demon, it's around 93k. You also have the gold rate, so how many gold charm is dropped by them. So you are able to get how many gold charm you will get overall by managing to get 200 million experience in Slayer, for example. So you do that for the green, the crimson, and the blue charm. You are able to know how much and how many ex charms you will be able to get by completing your goal in Slayer. So it's very useful to plan few things. And for example, if you need a lot of charm, then you can change your do list to get more charms, for example. There is also the range, the melee experience, the magic experience, so you know how much experience you will get for each skills. It also calculates the amount of cannonballs you are using, the chaotic weapons, if you need to recharge them, the potion, and even calculates the amount of cash you will make by looting the monsters. So of course you need to reduce it by the total amount of cash you will need to spend on the potion and the cannonballs. It's around 1.7 billion GP, only for the cannonballs. If I were going for 5 bill experience overall, then I will have to join Slayer for 3,700 hours in a row for a total amount of experience in overall of 881 million. So a lot of that comes from Slayer, Attack, Range, and Magic. I will also be able to get 250 FPGs, assuming that I get 1 FPG every 750k experience in Slayer, a lot of blue, gold, and crimson charm, 
for the crimson charm, there are two rates. One that assumes that I'm not using the familiarization minigame, that basically triple the amount of charm you get, and the second rate is that I'm using it. So, by using it, I mean that I will be using it every time I have a water fan test. I will show you all the summoning calculations in another video. Those are the amounts of experience I have in each kill so far in the series.